back to the other episode of NBA Live Mobile. Um, I got my team up to a 74 overall. Um, I'm still at level 6, so that's kind of bad. But I'm tied up with the best overall in the league. As you guys can see, I'm about to show you right now. I have a 74 overall team, so bam. 80, 80, 78. 80, 85, and then I have an 82 on my bench right here. I'll show you. Right here. Not a single bronze on my team at all. I just got, I just pulled this guy out of a pack, so. I was kind of happy. I don't, I'm not upgrading this Dirk, actually. Um, I'm not even going to use him. Because they're just trash live events that you have to. Waste all your time on just to get one collectible, which you're gonna have to do that like a whole bunch of times. Oh snap! I can actually train Dirk right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and train Dirk right now. Uh, live events. Uh, front office Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, yep. Okay, I forgot. I have a token, but it's not letting me use it. So how do I upgrade this Dirk? I think I gotta go to my team. I know this is definitely gonna hurt my overall C. It's a 72, it went all the way down. But, you can only train Dirk with this, actually. One, I don't even care. Bam. I don't even care. All right, 73 overall. Okay, now I'm gonna take this guy out. How do you click best lineup? Update team. Okay, back to a 74 overall, so. Okay, so now I barely have any stamina, so I don't even know why I started this video, but yeah, as you guys can see, I barely have any stamina. Um, the one that I'm grinding for right now is this Carmelo Anthony. Um, he is probably the most rounded out player I've actually ever seen. Uh, the only thing that's 71 and below is his speed, uh, and dribbling. Other than that, everything is 71 and higher. So, he's pretty good. I mean, I played with him. He actually is okayly fast. He's not slow, but he's definitely not the fastest player. I think Dwayne Wade is, I mean, he, he definitely was, like, when he played for the Heat and stuff, let me check, 70 speed, I don't get how he, I mean, 70 speed, but, yeah, okay, let's check his speed, I swear, if Larry Bird has better speed, 71, how do you have 71 speed, that makes no sense, alright, Giannis, let's check Giannis, he has 76 speed, and they're calling Dwayne with the flash, that's actually kind of funny. Okay, Lonzo, I already have this card. 73. I actually have this, to be honest, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my team right now. Uh, 80 overall, Lonzo Ball, 78 overall, Alan Crab, 71 overall, Marquise, Marquise something. George Hunt, George's Hunts, uh, Amir Johnson, Marcin Gortat, 80 overall, really like the player, he's very, very good in gameplay, so, um, next we have this guy, actually, I have a lot of good, I have three good players on my bench, uh, this Tim Frazier, Tim Hardaway Jr., I know him, um, I've, and Ivic Zubat, I think I've heard of him before, um, okay, so, 85 overall Kevin Garnett, I pulled him as an 84, I'm still waiting, uh, to get 19,000, once I get, um, to an 86 overall, I'm probably just gonna upgrade him to an 87, I'm gonna be a 75 overall by the time that my Kevin Garnett gets to an 86 overall, so, that's pretty good, I pulled this man, actually, guys, 
and I'm not even sure if there's a lot of views on the video that I pulled him. And I pulled two other elites in the same exact- wait, hold on. How did I get this? I- I don't get how I got that, but... Damn. I don't get- I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get why I'm getting this much coins for no reason. Um... But I pulled two elites in the same exact pack that I pulled the Kevin Garnett. So... Yeah, it was pretty good. I got pretty decent. But, yeah, I think I'll just wear it to now. Nah. I'll just save up for 75k. Dang. I can't do this for a long time. Look at this. Look at this dumb live event. You have to use this Dirk 40 dunk and 48 three pointer. I don't know how you're supposed to play with this. It's it's considered an elite. I'm pretty sure it's a glitched card or something. It's a 43 overall. I don't know what they're doing, honestly. There's legacy live events. I actually have some pretty good legacy teams. Look, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Look. Uh, right here, see, Isaiah Russell, I don't know why they ha don't have any programs, this is supposed to be Clipboard Commanders, the Dave Cohens, the only one that sh uh, stayed was Anthony Davis, the Andrew Wiggins was the Summer Courts, Russell Westbrook Awards winners for Best Style Award, I think, Isaiah Thomas was a, I'm trying to think, I know it was something, I'm not sure, but I remember that it was definitely a program. It definitely wasn't the best card in the program, that's for sure. I can't remember the program, but um, it was a pretty good card. You could actually do stuff with it. My brother sniped him for like 600 coins uh, in Season 1. Yeah, and then I... Uh, have the best snipe in the house for uh, NBA Live Mobile 17. The old one, which is a um, 91 overall Damian Lillard for 202 coins. Um, I sold him back. Uh, like, this was when the auction house was broke, and he still went up for 100k. So imagine if the auction house wasn't broke back then, and he didn't go up for a hunt, and he, like, and, like, he didn't go up for as cheap. That, that would have probably been a 400k snipe, probably. Because the auction house was broke, so there was, like, 30k off of every player. For, like, regular elites, they used to go for 40k, I remember. Um, and now, and then then, they were selling for 22k because of the cornucopia packs. And whenever you pulled a 91 J.R. Smith, you wouldn't even get hype about it, like, at all. Like, from the Cornucopia packs, because you had either a 97 overall Paul Pierce there, or a 99 overall Allen Iverson. I was about to get the 99 overall Allen Iverson, but I decided to not, because he would not update my team at all. So, I had a 96 overall at that spot. I don't know why I'm talking so much, but it's just fine. Okay. So back to my team, as you guys can see, right here, pretty good, beastly, need two more players, just need two more, bro, this guy is actually a beast, I'm not even playing, I'm not even playing, this guy is actually a beast, and then this guy, he's a beast too, trust me, even though he don't look like a beast, he can definitely dunk. A lot. He can block shots. What's his block rating? Because I honestly feel like it's a good block rating. Um, blocking, 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 block. 63. I don't get how he, it's only a 63. Oh, this guy is definitely a good rebounder. I like his rebounding. 
box out pretty good offensive rebounding. The only thing that's bad is defensive rebounding. He gets a lot of offensive rebounds, passes it to Kevin Garnett, and then, yeah, buckets. So, I've been talking a lot. I don't know why. It's just, as I said again, it's very fun to talk a lot. So, uh, so two... So, I just need to upgrade four more players to where I have all gold or better lineups. Uh, so, I just upgraded this from a bronze to a silver. So, just four more till my team is officially called not trash. It's, it's definitely not trash for my league. Uh, as you guys can see, I told you guys that I was going to show you. Um, that I am this tied with the best in the league. Boss 17 plays. Go check him out. He's not a YouTube channel, but he does have one. He has 160 subscribers. His name is ChillFamYT. Go subscribe to him. I mean, I'm not the one who should be shouting him out. He has 160 subscribers. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and scout him. As you guys can see, he has a way better uh, current lineup. Uh, I think... But I think I have the better... Uh, I think I have the better classic lineup. That's what I like to say. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to look at your current lineup. See, I have an 80 over on Marcin Gortat at that spot. So, it's pretty good. I, mm, like, I barely have any chemistry with this lineup. This lineup, I have literally two players that don't have chemistry. I'm about to upgrade him, so it doesn't even matter. So, technically, just one. But, yeah. Um, I don't have the auction block yet. I'm gonna get to a 75 soon. I'm at a 74. I just don't have enough stamina to grind for it. I need a... I don't need it anymore. What am I talking about? When? What was that sound? Um, well, I either need a Yana Santa de Compo or a Carmelo Anthony. Definitely don't want that Larry Bird. I already pulled the Lonzo Ball. So, definitely don't want Larry Bird, that's for sure. I, because I already have a 70 overall spot at that spot, and then I have an 80 overall at my starter. So, yeah, I'm definitely not putting Larry Bird at my starters. Probably just going to feed him to Kevin Garnett or something. Because uh, I don't really like Larry Bird's card. I tried playing with him. He can't dribble at all. I'm not even kidding. Don't get the Larry Bird. I'm suggesting it to you. You can pull a lot of classic lineup small forwards. Trust me. I pulled Spencer Hayward. Spencer Haywood. Uh, and Mark McGuire. And Kevin Garnett in one pack. So, there's a lot of really good odds. Um, small forwards, too. There's better odds for small forwards. Um, yeah... There's definitely good odds for small forwards because, and power forwards, because power forwards, I pulled two classic lineup power forwards. Uh, the only elite pool that I've gotten for my NBA lineup is Alonzo Ball, which I completed a whole entire 30 live events. Yes, I'm stupid for trying to do 30 live events just to get Alonzo Ball. I wish I could have gotten Carmelo, but it doesn't even matter anyway, so... This guy actually used to be on my starters. Now he's not Tim Hardaway Jr. I might switch him if I even figure out how. Um, Alan Crabb, definitely pretty good. He just doesn't have any chemistry with my coach. So, yeah, as you guys can see, I don't need to boost him up like that. I need to boost up Kevin Garnett once he gets to an 86 overall. Once he gets to an 86 overall... I am immediately upgrading him to an 87, so I can get a 76 overall, 
lot, I mean, franchise, um, I'm talking about a lot, last year it was, it took me actually so long just in order to get a 75, five overall lineup because I was being stupid focusing on my big man instead of my other lineups. I had like 30k every live event which th with 30k I think you can you could have stacked your team with all golds and stuff. Um there was a lot of like and I just didn't do that. I just focused on my big man. All I did was just put elites on my big man, and they and it was a trash big man lineup. Trust me. Um, and then I upgraded it, as you guys saw, Anthony Davis. Um, I used to have 90 overall to win without my shooting guard. Now I had, and then before the game ended, I had Russell Westbrook. Um, yeah. So I've been talking a lot. I should probably stop because I'm on the grind right now. But peace out, everybody.